Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, the Lou D.O. Double G. And welcome to the Angry Belly Anime Watch Podcast, where we... Watch anime! Yeah, that was great. That was really good. You know, I do a promo during the streams, right? Where I'm like, hey, you know, do you like anime? Do you like podcasts? Do you like me? Well, do I have the thing for you? Mm -hmm. And I do the whole thing. And then obviously I like, I have to say your part because you're not like really in the stream with me or you're not. Well, I was when you did it last week. Yeah, yeah, you were. That's true. That's true. But I saw this in real time. (laughs) I'm thinking I want to get like, because I have um, a stream deck where I can like play sound effects. I kind of want to like say the whole bit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, just put your voice in there, you know? What Wait, do you think? yeah. Do you, I'll just do you give like, me rights. Give you, yeah. You have, you can use my voice. This is right, like my verbal consent. All right, great. Well, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just take a screen cap or something. I say screen cap. Yeah. It's not a screen cap. It's this is audio. Not I knew one. what you meant. Yeah. The you vibe get it. was there. Yeah. For a show. For a show. How are <laughs> you doing, Katie? I'm solid. Life is good. Work has been a little slower lately. Uh, I started watching a new show, Louie. Spike's Family? No, I mean, yes, but no. I started watching the horniest show I've ever seen. Yes. Yeah. Nudity. Which is Oran High School Host Club. I've never seen that before. I've never even heard of this. Are you kidding? You've never heard of it? It's so popular. So. Right. Okay. Well, I haven't heard of it, so it can't be that popular, huh? Oh, my God. It's literally so popular. People have been recommending it to me for ages. I thought you would hear it and be like, oh, my God, you silliness. Like, it's no. such a Mm-mm. it's such a middle schoolers anime. It's an anime. OK, OK. That makes a lot more sense when you That's said why I brought it up on the podcast. When I you said horny. Topical. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if it's an anime, it's definitely topical. This and I'm, I'm a shonen bitch. We know that. Come on now. Yeah. Well, this is very. I don't know. It's, it's not like necessarily. I, I'm only like five episodes in. Right. So I would mm-hmm, say it's mm-hmm. more akin to Slice of Life, but it's very middle school romance drama type being. Well, that's um, that's really good. You know, I yeah. haven't been watching new animes outside of Spy Family, but... Yeah, what have you been watching? Miss Gloria and I just finished uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra. Oh, and she good. likes to say that I chose The Legend of Korra, but she's the one who asked me to watch it, so... Aww, she just stuck the finger at me because she's on her computer watching Friends. I Wait, think. which one did she like better? Which one did you like better? To Cora or what she said was I don't know. I don't think the mic heard that, but what she said was that she liked the first season of Cora a lot. That's well, what didn't she said. they think it was only going to be one season? Like when they went into yes, it? Yes, I I think that I think so. We might we might have to like get a. I might have to do some research about that, but like, yeah, I'm, I think I think there was something about about like them not having the ability to like renew right off the bat. I mean, if that is the case, then it kind of shows because that first season is really good. Yeah, I think that I, first time we were listening at work to the the Avatar podcast. Um, oh, OK. And I think they were, they were talking about how like Cora was only meant to like they didn't know how long it was going to be as opposed to like yeah, Avatar yeah, where yeah. they like kind of had a plan. And that's why mm-hmm. a lot of the first season of Korra feels really contained. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, if if it ended right there, it would have been like, oh, more. We want more, I'm sure. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like the third season a lot personally because the hair is kind of sick, but whatever. I, I honestly haven't watched either show in full since I was a kid. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would definitely. I, I think I know. I think I think you would like Korra more just because there's more of a story, whereas The Last Airbender is like crumbs of a story throughout and then some episodes were like big things happen but heard. it's mostly crumbs whereas Cora, like all 13 episodes are just story you know heard heard heard, heard. But anyways, no. yeah that's about it that's Good. about it but you know what we're, we're we're not a avatar the last airbender rewatch podcast we are in fact an anime watch podcast Yeesh. much more general much more <laughs> that's absolutely <laughs> true um uh, and, and we're watching spy family this fun little yeah. show which is definitely way more. I thought Cowboy Bebop was pretty lighthearted, but I feel like this one is is like way more lighthearted. Yeah, if Cowboy Bebop is lighthearted, then this is like not an internal organ. It's like an actual feather. <laughs> I don't know if that even made sense. I said no. That. I, was I, like, I I mean I think that yeah. I don't know if that made any sense, but it did. If yeah yeah yeah, it's like 
this this doesn't this is like 50 times as easy to watch and as charming and uh, i don't know it's just a delightful show i think that's the perfect word for this show it is very charming in comparison to it i mean i don't know i i feel like it's yes you're right it is very easy to watch it's also nice because it's like not intense i feel like i watch because i mean like i said i'm a shonen bitch and so like i feel like Mm -hmm. when i watch anime it's very like intense like my dreams i'm willing to die for my dreams i'm you know like i'm willing to kill for my family like you know like in, yeah, in, like yeah, super yeah. intense like oh you you kidnapped my brother i'm going to go kill your whole family to get him back like yeah. you know something insanely dramatic like that but this is very 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 fun um so yeah i like i think it is very fun can i if i may you may i don't know if you relate to this but it's gonna be like, me. there's certain things that I'll watch at certain times of day. It's like I, I'm watching The Last of Us on HBO. Right. And it's like, yeah. that's an evening viewing thing. Like, I don't want to get off at my yeah. lunch hour and then get into yeah. that for an hour of like drama. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather just like put on an episode of like The Clone Wars or whatever. And so this is like more of a lunch show. Exactly. Exactly. And yeah. to that same yeah. point, Miss Gloria and I. Um, sometimes she comes over to my apartment before like rehearsals and stuff and, uh, we'll have dinner or whatever, but we've been saying like, we need to watch the last of us. Right. Because like, obviously like, you know, yeah, the game yeah, yeah. and, and, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a gamer boy, but are you? Yeah. And, and she like watched the full playthrough on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's how she said yeah. she watched it or like, oh, she, it's, it's you know, very similar. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. That, that's actually makes me very happy, but. Um, but anyway, so we both obviously have interest in it and, um, uh, we're every time we're like in between things, we're like, we have like an hour or two to spare and we're like, should we watch the last of us? And we're like, uh, it's kind of intense for <laughs> <Yeah>, <laughs> no, chilling for like is. an hour or two and then going to work right after you're going to have like tears in your eyes as you're like going to work. So this, this show to me is like. It has more depth than most shows that I watch at mm-hmm, lunch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, like, because at lunch sure. I'll just put on like shitty YouTube. You know what I mean? For like, sure. The yeah, dumbest yeah. video essay I've ever seen. So this is like <laughs> more than a lunch show, but not as yeah. like heavy handed as a supper show. As a supper show, right? Because you're 85 years old and say the word supper. <laughs> So the first episode we're talking about is <laughs> episode nine. Show off how in love you are. And this episode no they they left us on a cliffhanger yeah they did this episode in particular has a eight out of ten user rating on imdb whoa synopsis is as follows after yuri's visit lloyd begins to suspect your may or may not be who she claims while lloyd investigates your struggles with questions of her own boogity boogity boo okay just real quick what do you think about this one i liked this one i'm gonna say like i'm gonna be very like open with you from the beginning that none of these four episodes, like, to me, were groundbreaking in any way. But I would say this is uh-huh. top two for me. Yeah. Yes. Top two Agreed. of the four we watched today. Agreed. And, and and as a conglomerate, I do have feelings about all four. But I, I, I think I agree with that. Yeah. For sure. It, it There were some fun moments. Other other than that, it was very much like, it feels like we're just, that it was... <sighs> In in a way, I felt it like felt like filler episode. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the back Except half for the of it. First like, one. Yeah. 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 So we're going to start this battle way up with a play by play. It opens with your and Lloyd discussing basically like how like they're going to kiss. Right. Because that's that, that was a cliffhanger you mentioned was Yuri want to it was trying to force them to kiss in front of him which is super super weird this guy is a freak well he's like it's the only way to prove you're married i'm like i guess not not the fact that they have like rings and live together and have a certificate that they even offered to show uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> but the funny thing is that yours just kind of goes in for the kiss right like she's just going right on she top of him rattles him bro she really does. And you can see that assassin like strength come out. Yeah, it was kind it was kinda of hot. Hey, dude, don't don't even get me started right now. Not on this not in front of my salad. Um, and so as soon as she does that What a specific callback. <laughs> I know. Uh <laughs> she's doing that. Uh Yuri goes in because he gets jealous. 
um, he gets a flashback because of the shock, I guess. And it's a flashback of him getting good grades and her kissing him on the cheek, being like, good job, little bro. And so she sees him going in to kiss a uh, Lloyd and he's like, oh, hell no. This is my sister. I'm jealous. Yeah, he flips out. He's going in to intercept the kiss and she fucking <laughs> throws a fork at him. Slap the hell out of him. Was that that time? Wait, am I too far oh, back? No. no, no, she does throw a fork right. first. Yeah, she does. She throws she does. a fork she... and then she slaps him. I got ahead. I jumped mm-hmm. the gun. My beat. No, you did. You did. It's okay. Not mad. Just a little. <laughs> um, but he says that as a kid that, that he would marry her. So basically, like, it goes back to the flashback and after she like kisses him on the cheek, he's like, I'm going to marry you. And it's a kid. So they don't know. Right. And she's like, OK, I'll wait for you. And and so and then yeah. after that, your right. does then slap him because of how jealous he got because he tried to stop the kiss. It's creepy because like it's normal for kids to like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to like not know the difference between romantic and platonic love and be like, mm-hmm. oh, I love you. I want to marry you because that's what you do when you love somebody is you marry yeah. them. But the fact that this guy is a grown ass adult and he's like, I can't stand here and watch him kiss her in front of me. I can't let him lay claim to her lips. I'm like, Brosef is definitely <laughs> cruising Bro-Seph. for some incest. <laughs> no shit, dude. It's, uh, it's I got to send you this schnass. this Instagram meme I saw uh, regarding incest, but it's not the point. Um <laughs> <laughs> now that we're like discussing this. Mm. And so after that, he does this really weird thing where he's like, oh, he's such a great guy or whatever. Like he decides that Lloyd is a good guy. Right. And he's like, oh, you know what? I give you permission to kiss your. She fucking slaps him again. She's like, what are you talking about right now? Like as if to say, like, you don't have a claim over me. Like, why would you give you as my brother, this guy, yeah. my husband permission to kiss me? So that was fun. But they have this fun little exchange where he's like, oh, we you know, we'd love to have you back. He's like, we'll be back. Like, you know, all freaking out. And they're like, yeah, you will. So you can meet, you know, you can meet Anya. <laughs> he's Bro, like, he leaves I'm going to be back. Screaming absolute bloody murder. Seriously. Hey, one of my favorite parts in this is that like the little blood effect that like there's like just some kind of squirting out of his head, basically. And in however way blood can be playful. <laughs> right like it's yeah, it's yeah. just it's just so stupid <laughs> but he after that he pre, he he goes and asks some strangers he's walking out like hey uh where's the nearest station or whatever and he's just spewing blood and they're just like freaking out and they're like you need to go to a hospital and just kind of ends there um that little area and i think at that point it's actually the intro but i digress yeah we don't we don't get any more info from that nope Mm-mm. <laughs> but Okay, so then we come back to Lloyd and Yor. They're kind of distracting themselves from each other and just kind of just doing whatever. They have their own like inner monologues about like uh, Lloyd is kind of questioning whether or not Yor is like in cahoots with Yuri. And then Yor is kind of just feeling really like a bad wife, right? Yeah, because Anya made a comment of like, Ugh, I can't believe mom cooked breakfast this morning. <laughs> and, and she was like, I'm a failure as a wife. I'm going to lose him. And he's like, ah, she must be upset because she's in cahoots with Yuri and doesn't want us to find out claim. And I'm like, no, you fucking idiot. She has a crush on you, my dude. You are so dumb for someone who is so smart. Yeah, I agree. I mean, not not that I agree, but like, I think it's it's just super interesting, like these polar opposite kind of ideas and the way they're they're going about it. But we it, obviously Anya is the biggest instigator here and she can, you know, obviously read minds. And she's like, oh, um, mommy and daddy aren't getting along right now. Y'all need to get along. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Lloyd is like, oh yeah, well, you know, kids have some really good intuition and you know, sometimes, so whatever. <laughs> like they will they will go out of their way to justify the telepathy in any way to Lloyd. No, seriously. I mean, because he's I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense though, because he's a very like structural, structural and very like, I don't know, like logical person. So I guess in his brain he would never suspect that Anya could have powers, you know? Yeah, but, like, he goes out of his, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah. Anyways, I'm sure we'll see more of this. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Uh, But anyways, so they end up, he ends up, like, kind of putting, like, oh, you have something on your 
on your collar, he says to you. And he puts he plants a little um listening device, a bug on her. Um Whoa. and is it, it's like, okay, Lloyd, like what do you what do you think you're doing here, bud? But regardless yeah. Oh, I love this part. He ends up, they end up going their separate ways. And, you know, Anya tells them they need to get along or whatever. So we go back to Yuri. This part to me, I just, I had to pause and I was like kind of laughing a little bit. Cause like, this is so fucking stupid. I know. <laughs> but he's at work with his locker and, and, you know, obviously they don't even like talk about it. Right. But it's like, yeah. he, opens it. he has a shrine of yore. In his goddamn locker, this, dude. This shit was so creepy. Yeah, mm-hmm. indeed. There's like photos where it's like clear that she was not aware that the photos were being taken, and it makes me so cringe. It makes me uncomfy, you know. Yeah, big time. Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> we're just gonna brush past that. Um, so then he start he starts to like kind of think back to the whole situation because one of one of his coworkers like asks him like, oh, did. You know, her husband beats you. Did you get drunk? And he beat you up. And he's like, yeah, you know, whatever. But then he. Which, how was that their first guess? That's exactly what happened. How was yeah, that seriously. their first guess? Maybe because they know his tendencies and they know that he's he's a drunk, you know, he's a lightweight, maybe. Yeah. Which does tell us he maybe has like an alcohol problem, maybe foreshadowing for something later. That might be his weakness, because as far as we know, he's a very smart individual. So it's like he's got to have some sort of weakness. And I think I think that plays interestingly with Lloyd not having a weakness before, but in the situation, his family could be one like he could be creating one for himself because he's obviously getting super into it. Right. Oh, for sure. Uh, regardless. So Yuri realizes he didn't put bugs in the house and he's like, oh, like hitting himself on the locker. And the guy is like, oh, you probably got you could have got your uh, <laughs> your wounds from doing that to yourself. huh?" <laughs> and they just yeah. kind of like go past past that. And so Lloyd does what Lloyd does best. And he begins to kind of just follow your around and start to like listen in on her conversations. And he basically oh, deems really? deems that like she's like probably not a threat. Probably. But then he's like, you know what? We got to just like, we, we got to interrogate her, basically. Huh. And so he, he he suits up him and Frankie. Frankie looks, Frankie's got the riz, bro. Like with this like, <laughs> this like <laughs> mask that he gives him, like, he looks way more handsome, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought, I think all of his iterations are cringe. You uh, you mean Lloyd's or, or Frankie's? Frankie. I well, think Frankie's just kind of cringe. His character in the alleyway was super off-putting. Maybe that's just a me thing. Yeah, he, he did kind of seem like he was gonna like attempt some like assault <laughs> on you. I know. I guess Katie Mark said that's a trigger. I said, gotta, gotta yeah, flee no, that. I, I, I can totally see why you would say that. But anyway, so he comes in. They come in. They, they, they pull her off to the side because you're by her boss's um, orders going to go drop off some. A mail at the post office and so they pull her aside and they're like oh that letter you have could have some kind of cipher on it and blah 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 blah. you could be selling you know secrets and of course we know this is frankie and and then lloyd but through the all the questioning she kind of stays true to herself and is like no like um you know no i'm not doing anything wrong blah 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 but then they kind of like put the bait out to be like hey if you're in trouble if you have some family in the secret police they can help you but she's like, I don't fucking know. If you touch my family, I will kill you. <laughs> Basically is what happens. And she like, I thought she broke Frankie's arm. Because he like points a finger at her or whatever. And then she like twists his arm. Dude, literally. And I thought she broke it because I heard this like pop sound effects. So I was like, oh, well, she just fucking broke his arm. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, he's fine. <laughs> but obviously the, the funny thing is like, oh, they were, I don't remember what animal it was the first one but they're like oh this wasn't the the bat cipher this was the caterpillar oh uh one of them was a raccoon or something yeah something like that maybe i something just like watched that. this like an hour no, ago i, I can't yeah, remember like, yeah I, I watched it like two hours ago but but yeah basically they're like oh yeah no it's in there it's the caterpillar cipher so you're fine like he's actually talking about hemorrhoids here don't tell anybody <laughs> because this could embarrass your boss <laughs> bizarre right <laughs> yeah i can't imagine I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It was funny either way. It's like somebody in the writer's room was like, that's hilarious. Got Hemorrhoids are it. funny. Why did you do your me impression for that? Was that a you impression? Yeah, that's I guess it was. That's how you do when you talk in my voice. I'm Katie. 
I have sticky fingers and Cheeto puff all over my hands. Yeah, I guess so. It was pretty similar. Hi, uh, uh, my name is uh, <laughs> Louis. I am uh, Louis. I am Louis. I sounded I, like Obama. Uh, don't sound like that. Uh, <laughs> I know you did. You sound like the Obama uh, deep fakes when they're playing know, uh, Minecraft. Have you seen those like, memes? Yes. I was like, why do I sound like Obama right now? Yeah, you definitely did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, an so Obama impersonator. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, you and you being a white person that would go over very well. Yeah, I think I would do it justice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, they end up just kind of dissipating from the situation they let her go whatever um coincidentally lloyd and uh Yor are walking back home together oh this was cute and um, they end up accidentally meeting each other and there's this whole wonderful moment where she apologizes or whatever for not being a good wife yada 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 and he's like no why I, I, I you know i wouldn't be doing this with you if i didn't like you just the way you were uh it was very sweet yeah and i enjoyed it, it. very wholesome yeah and that was the end of that episode oh no 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 that wasn't the end of that episode he reaches over, grabs the bug off of her collar. Oh, yes, she, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. blushes so deep. And then he was like, oh, uh, it's a piece of lint. And he like throws it away or whatever. It's just like one of those cute moments. And I'm like, you're falling for each other, but you don't want to say it. Yeah, exactly. So cute. I feel like she's more obvious about it than he is, you know? Like totally. she gets very like, <gasps> like she gets starstruck almost, but. She's like very blushy around him. And for good reason. He's a good looking guy. I guess. But yours is like hotter in my opinion. Oh, no. Absolutely. Dude, obviously. Like she is. Dude, she's her, assass- her, her assassin dress. I'm like, yo. I know. Uh, I know with the black straps. You can you step on me. Do whatever you got to do, bro. I'm here. Yeah. Moving on from that statement. Uh, the next episode, episode 10, The Great Dodgeball Plan. Now, this was my favorite episode. This was good. Oh, me too. Okay, great. We agree for once. Because <laughs> at the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, this seems hokey. Nope. It was yeah. awesome. It was so good. I We can sit here and talk all about it before the play by play, but we should probably just jump right into it. Yeah, let's jump. 8.4 out of 10 user rating on IMDb. Good. A rumor spreads among the first graders that if they do well in PE, they will be rewarded with Stella stars. Anya is determined to get one, so she trains with Yor. Thus begins a dodgeball match between Cecile Hall and Wald Hall. Which, how is she in a hall? Because she's a commuter, so I'm confused about that. Yeah, I don't know. I was know. thinking about that. It's a good question. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I, I thought I had an answer for you. I, alas, did not. It's okay. Yeah, you hope you forgive me. Because I was thinking, like, maybe it has something to do with Henderson, but I don't even know what Master Henderson's first name is. Is it, like, Walter? Walden? Oh, he's my favorite character, though. Oh, my God. He's he's great. Anyway, moving forward. We see the cool head master, a.k.a. Master Henderson, running. Um, a.k.a. Elegance Man. Yeah, he definitely, he, he works out, runs, whatever. He gets dressed and showers, whatever the heck. And he ends up serving tea to this um, other uh, master or this other teacher. And he, he, the teacher's like, oh, he had to give a bolt, a lightning bolt to a student already. And he explained the situation, basically, a little recap, I suppose, between, I guess, because he hadn't seen, like, Damian. And we, had, we hadn't seen Damian and Anya. We haven't been to school in episodes, so yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so I guess it kind of makes sense. So then those these stupid kids, I can't even, I have their names written down here as we go further along. I can't remember their names at the moment, but these, they look so goofy, dude. Like these kids that hang out with Damian. Are you talking about Beavis and Butthead? Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yes, dude. That's what I call them. They look so dumb. Um, but anyways, they, they pull a, um, One looks a yearbook. Like a beaver, the other's a poodle. So, yes, absolutely. They pull a yearbook and they see Damian's brother. And we kind of start to see a little inkling of pressure on him being kind of like, oh, well now I like. You know, my brother was a Stella student or whatever they call it. Imperial scholar, excuse me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, you know, they're like, oh, you're going to get it faster than him or, you know, whatever. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And you kind of see this like hint of like pressure and doubt on him. I'm like, oh, OK, this is going to this is going to be a thing at some point. A little bit of foreshadowing there. Ask you, though, how do goons become goons? Because I understand why Anya is like trying to get close to him. But, mm-hmm. like, why are these kids sucking on Damian's nuts? I mean... I don't get it. To be completely fair... Is that just, like, an anime trope? Yeah, for sure. I, I would say I would say so. But I also think, like, 
to an extent it does mirror real life too you know like i i i do feel like sure. there is some of that in real life maybe not quite as caricatured but for sure i, I can like i mean if you think about now oh, this is a very extreme example but like hitler had his followers you know what i mean like so like even the worst people could have followers you know what i mean it's a dummy on has goons so did hitler <laughs> he did am i wrong about that <laughs> you're not wrong it was just like a very jump comparison I, mean, I wasn't expecting. It I does. Mean, it hey. tracks. I mean, I, I get the reference now. You can uh, expect the unexpected here at the Angry Belly Anime Watch podcast. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, you know, it, no, I, know what I you feel mean. like, I, I mean, he's a bully and he's kind of a dick, but it kind of makes sense because people, I mean, his, his dad is like one of the biggest uh, political figures in the nation. And like, I'm, I'm sure people just would want to, you know, be, be hanging out with him, be his friend, get on his good side. Yeah. But yeah, I, and matter of fact, these goons kind of remind me of Crab and Goyle from Harry Potter. I was going to say that earlier. Yeah, we're so smart. Uh, <laughs> but one of my one of my little favorite bits here is Henderson just always thinking things are going to be elegant and great or whatever. And so Henderson so is dramatically funny, looks out of the of the window and is like, today's going to be historic and elegant. And then cut to Anya and Damian arguing and Henderson sees them and has this super like funny face. Like, never mind. Things aren't going to be elegant or historic oh, at good, all. Dude. His elegance boner is the funniest joke on this show. It changed my mind. Uh, it's good. It's good for sure. One of my favorites is, is when Lloyd reacts to the things that Yor does. And he's like, oh, no, why would she do that? Like we when we get into the last episode of Penguin Park, uh, Anyways, mm -hmm. she whenever she invites the neighbors to come in, he like oh, has his yeah, face where yeah, he like yeah, flips yeah. out. And I, I think it's just so funny. Anyways, so Anya explains that she can get a Stella. Like we, we kind of well, actually before this, Becky tells her her friend that she can get a Stella according to the fourth graders or third graders. I don't quite remember if she gets MVP in the dodgeball game. And she goes home and tells this to, to Yor and, and, and Lloyd. And Yor is like, proclaims she exclaims that she's going to be training Anya and and this training goes you know just how you kind of expect it and I think I think this is a very fun montage oh it's a great montage oh it's so good it is so good so there's a lot of like running there's a lot of like sit-ups and and, and and visualizing the game and and a bunch of you know other things yeah where she's literally like okay we're visualizing it and Anya like falls asleep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like she's holding her feet for little sit-ups and Anya's like barely getting an inch off the ground but girl me too honestly man y'all are that's weak. real that was real weak sauce that. weak sauce I'm just kidding <laughs> you're so strong Katie I've built sets with you I know how strong you are but uh <laughs> yeah and and one of the funniest parts is when your launches a complete shotgun of a of a ball to um a tree and like completely destroys it. Yeah, knocks it in half. That tree falls down. It was so good. And so then like after the montage, obviously Anya's like, oh yeah, I'm ready to do this. And she names her, she like dubs herself with a name Killer Shot. That's her kill shot. <laughs> her her final blow to take out her opponent in dodgeball. But okay, girly pop. Very we'll dramatic. It. <laughs> after that she has this fun little like we we like do this transition and back into school she has this cute little like uh, suit up moment basically and puts on this red headband and it, it's cute it's it's wonderful and i really like it oh yeah but there's a moment where we find out damian and anya are now on the same team and so this spreads a little bit of a like oh i have to team up with her well oh well you know kind of thing from him but then, you know, they kind of have a little exchange and then he's just thinking in her hitting his head like, I have to get MVP because I need to catch up to my brother or I need to get there before my brother. And so now we kind of like we were saying earlier, we see this pressure kind of building for him. Right. Mm -hmm. And Anya kind of feels bad. Second son. Yeah. Second son. The match starts and Damian <laughs> throws the ball. And this is the best fucking part. <laughs> the reveal of he's like, oh, no, I'm going to have to go against him. He's the one I have to go against to get MVP over or whatever. And then Bazooka. Bazooka Bill. fucking Bill. Bill Wilkins. This guy is so fucking funny. It's 
I can't, I can't even describe it. Like I was trying to think of like an apt <laughs> comparison. I can't. Oh wait, no. You know what he looks like? What does he look Have like? you seen Flush Away? Holy shit! Yes. He looks like the gangster rat with <laughs> the gold chain. <laughs> Away. Or like um the one from um oh my god Ratatouille, <laughs> the big ass rat that, that guys, a freeze you know Remy who he looks like. He has the same body shape of Gru. He's built like a Dorito. Oh my! Except way more buff. I would say Gru has They're a little more bit buff. more of a well more of a tummy, but yeah, dude. Yeah, um, Bazooka fucking Bill. He's he's great. Um. <laughs> For context, if you haven't seen it and you're watching this for some reason, Bazooka Bill is um so like they're they're in like first grade, right? So they're like five, six. Something this like is that. like a full grown ass man with the deepest voice you have ever heard. It's great. And like they're like, oh, he's six. And they're like, hey, that and I think Becky makes a joke of like, how is he our age? <laughs> <laughs> With the deepest voice, it's it's so good. It is so so good. Um, you, you, this Hulkish, uh, kindergarten or sorry, first grader comes out. He has a deep voice. Throws the ball once, gets four kids out immediately. And now we have this little fun flashback of drill of, of Bill, tr- um, training his body to the limits. Like he's in the forest, Rocky Balboa style, fucking. <laughs> hammering dodgeballs all over the place breaking uh wooden targets like he's getting wild and, and it's his dad it's is funny too it's so funny but the funniest part in all of this is when he goes his dad comes to him see him train and he goes daddy <laughs> <laughs> that's it literally daddy. my pants louis <laughs> and then he's like so much smaller than his dad but like, I know, and he, he still looks like not a kid. It's just, it's so funny. I, I like if you, just look up the screenshot if you can. It's worth it for sure. Yes, Bazooka freaking Bill. Maybe that could be the screen grab for the YouTube. Maybe I will do it. You know what, Bazooka Bill? I'm gonna freaking put in my notes right now. I can't. I couldn't tell if his dad was just that big to dwarf Bazooka Bill. You know what I, I like so. when they hugged. <laughs> I, I was like, I couldn't, I was like, I was like, is this like scale throwing me off? Is his dad normal adult size? And he's just like a really bulky kid. And we're just seeing these weird perspective shots. Or is he also a giant? I would have to assume he's a giant. And that'd be funny. That'd be the funniest thing, I think. I agree. Anyway, so <laughs> it's kind of revealed, I suppose, that Damian has been training too. And like initially you see him like doing this hardcore training to cuts to him just playing on the playground, literally climbing the side of a mountain. And you can see in my notebook where I said, how the fuck is he raw dogging the side of a mountain with no equipment, no harness? And then it's literally (laughs) just him climbing the jungle gym. And I was like, this show (laughs) got me good. Yeah. Uh, And there's a few of those where we see that kind of trope happening. But then. They try all sorts of formations. Like he tells Beavis and Butthead, like formation G, blah, blah, blah. Like, and they, you know, and it looks like this powerful shot and Bazooka Bill just catches it, which I thought in dodgeball, they caught your ball. You would get out. Don't know yeah, how this works too. in Japan. I, I don't also, know. Why are they using volleyballs as dodgeball? Where are they? Yeah, I guess you're right. They usually are not. There's, there's only like, one dodgeball. Did you play yeah. it like that growing up? No, we used gopher balls, those like little baby ones, or it was like actual puffy balls. balls. Yeah, they're like if you hit if you get hit with them, they don't hurt, kind of thing. Like the puffy balls, where you can they're like kind of like foam, like a yeah, yeah, foam on yeah. The those inside, are those kind. Those are those are called gopher balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gopher balls. So that's what we'd use. We'd have like thirty of them in play. Yeah, yeah. At least those are like the um. Ah, fuck! <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, at least that's the brand name that we had at school. So we just called them gopher balls. I don't know if there's different. Bird. Brands, but yeah. But yeah, the, the like upholstery foam with like kind of a latexy feeling mm-hmm, on the outside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'd have like 30 balls in play. So there was like one volleyball and there was only one ball in play. And I was like, this isn't very athletic. Nope. I, I, I thought it was going to be a little more like how you're describing. But I also don't mind the way they did it because it was still very funny. 
Oh, me neither. I was just curious. It made me wonder, no, like, yeah. oh, is this how this goes in Japan, or is this a choice for the show? Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. But either way, um, it was fun. Well, if the Angry Belly Anime Watch Pod makes its way to Japan, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I know, right? We do have our, our like, second, third biggest audience is, in fact, in Japan, if that really? counts for anything. Well, somebody please the, tell us. The, the channel... Um, itself i mean obviously that goes all the way to splatoon and minecraft and stuff but yeah our third our second biggest is uh the uk we um have uh i think it's like 30 percent of our viewers come from the uk i want to so cool but um anyways all 800 at this point 881 subscribers or whatever any hoosies oh, hell yeah Obviously, any, nothing works. Um, Emil is the name of the uh one of the people. I know, which I thought kids. was so funny. Yeah, he takes the the a ball to the face for Damian, and it's so dramatic. He like jumps in front. He's being taken down in battle, and the other kid is comes to his side. He's like, "No, breathe, breathe," and then you know he <laughs> also gets, montage. <laughs> he also it was gets so taken long. out. It definitely was loud, and he does get taken out too. So whatever. And so then now, big mistake by Bill, because now he's thinking through the way he's going to, like, hit people. And Anya can read minds, as we know. And she's just kind of dodging everything. And freaking, what's his name, Henderson? is like, oh, elegant. So elegant. Like, oh, elegant. Creaming his jeans over this. I know, bro. He literally nuts for elegance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But last time I checked on Pornhub, they don't have an elegance category. So let's I, yeah, it's, And it's truly unfortunate for the guy. Really unfortunate. I know. Um, <laughs> so I want to check it out, see what's about, you know? Definitely. But I guess porn and elegant don't have a lot of intersectionality. I suppose not. But Damian, um, oh, oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, but she does j- fall down, and then Bazooka Bill's like, oh, I got her. Not even she can dodge a ball, you know, from here. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Damian just jumps right in front of the ball instinctively and tries to catch it, and he accidentally drops it. And there's like smoke coming off his hand as he's like catching it and like this super dramatic thing. And it, it kind of just drops at his feet and he turns and is like, well, this is all up to you now. <laughs> yeah. And then she turns to him and she says, wait, you caught it for me. Are you a good guy? And he says, no, no. And I'm like, bro, why are you like opposed to that? I know it, it's it, it's just I guess it's just a kid thing. I don't know. But anyways, and this is probably by far the like. I don't know, maybe if it's the funniest, but it, it's just definitely no. the most dramatic. It's this this next like two minutes is I have not laughed out loud like this in like days. <laughs> OK, that, that's a lot for you. OK, I know. <laughs> um, well, it was, so I, just, on, something funny happened recently, so I just was laughing at that. But no, it's just I laughed out loud very, very hard. So Anya charges up her final uh, throw. And it, she, like, does this whole, like, flashback to her training. There's, like, very karate you know, kid. Very karate kid, exactly. She, you know, point your toe up, shift your weight, move your hips. Like, there's these wonderful effects, like, these, these like, anime shonen type style, final boss move kind of mm-hmm. thing going on with music and all the energy. <laughs> Just fucking flops like she just goes straight up and down and rolls straight to bazooka bill he picks it up and just whacks her with it and yeah, this she's, dude- he's standing there in silence <laughs> eyes closed wondering if the ball hit this girl fucking boings out of there and it's like they literally like they didn't animate it to look like she was following it it looked like they literally picked up her still image like translated it up like on like a negative parabola like she literally the still image of her move it was it was just so funny you gotta watch it it was so good yeah this episode is really really good it's obviously she, he takes her out and they win uh bullet bill wins or sorry a bullet, <laughs> bullet bill that's different. mario kart that's yeah, mario like, kart different yeah, right. japanese thing <laughs> but bazooka bill obviously they win but there is no Stella. It reveals um, the uh, Master Henderson is like, oh, yeah, no, there's no Stella. But like also you're going to get a lightning bolt because you told your opponent to die, uh, which is not very cash money. Yeah, I guess so. 
Um, but oh, you and know, then he, he looks. He like looks over at Damian and Anya, and he's like, "With two enemies coming together despite a challenge to be a team, maybe that's the serving of Estella." And then they're arguing, and he's like, "You're stupid, stubby legs." And then he's like, "Okay, well, I guess not." It was just it was a guess, perfect full circle moment for the episode. I guess fucking not. No, that was a. Uh, I, I like to think about it like the like these shows that we watch. Like, if I could find an episode of this show and be like here watch this episode this is exactly what the show is about i think this is a perfect example of like kind of what this show is it's good i might disagree with you i feel like there wasn't enough spy in this episode i guess i i think i'm more talking about like how dramatic it is sure how dramatic it is for vibes i agree with you for vibes based on vibes alone yes Based on vibes alone, I agree with you. But if I wanted to pick out a single episode, I, I need to show with a little bit more spy and a little less family. A little less, f- <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. So moving forward, the third episode is called Stella. Um, season one, episode eleven, mm-hmm. seven point nine rating on the IMDb skis. Uh, in order for parents to attend one of the social gatherings at Eden College, the children must be Imperial Scholars. Anya hates studying, so Lloyd comes up with a plan for to get stellar stars by doing community service. I gotta say, this might be one of my least favorite episodes this is so far. Me too. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we agree on that. Because I was like, mm, I don't know. So, I don't know how I feel that, about this. Like, I feel about the next two episodes is it feels like two half episodes. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Um, yeah, the last one like, in particular, we'll, we'll, we'll get through that. I did like the last one more. Me too. But I feel like the whole Penguin Park thing was like maybe three quarters of the episode. And the final, like, however long quarter of the episode was just her playing with her stuffed animals, which was fun and whatever. But like, I was like, I don't but know, But it was man. weird. I just, it yeah, was, I felt it, like I was it, watching quarter episodes. Yeah, it was, it was definitely very strange. But anyways, we're talking about Stella. How did you feel about Stella? I liked this one. There were a couple jokes in this one that really did it for me. The whole like yeah. world peace joke, like every time that was yes, like, gold that one was star good. from yeah. Candy Mark. But otherwise, I think it's a fairly forgettable episode. I agree. And it's again another episode where I just questioning how he does not pick up on her telepathy. For sure, especially when he she finds the kid. Especially anyway. this one later in the episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like this episode, this play by play is gonna go by pretty quickly. Yeah. Very straightforward. It is. It's very straightforward. Uh, Anya shows her test scores and they're all F's. Uh, big surprise. Wolf. She just didn't, didn't give a shit. <laughs> and, you know, has a bad grade. Lloyd's obviously upset. Like, oh, I don't know how we're going to get her um, Bellas or whatever. And they're just trying to get her study and she doesn't really want to. She doesn't really like, like it or whatever. She proclaims she's going to read minds to get 100s because she copied off the wrong person, <laughs> basically. And so she's like, okay, yeah. now I'm going to like figure it out. And so in his head, in Lloyd's, he's like, oh, well, we can just get HQ to like Mess up the numbers. Like, wait, well, she can't get perfect scores because that's going to be suspicious and everyone's going to hate her at school for getting perfect scores. And she's like, oh, wait, so then I shouldn't read minds because then I'm going to get, you know, like whatever, whatever. And I'm thinking like, dude, you could also just fudge it so that she, you know, you don't copy everything word for word. I was like, why can't they just put it in that she got like an 89, you know? Yeah, exactly. Weirdly enough, I was thinking exactly that number. Bullshit. Are you serious? No, I was literally thinking 89. Bro, we're in sync, I guess. Yep, in sync. Just bye, like bye, the band. Bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but before we go bye bye bye, let's finish this up. Whoa. Well, that was a good segue, wasn't it? It's great. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they won't like her if she does. And she's kind of like, uh, okay, I guess I'm not going to do that. But they do try a few different things. They want to like, he's like, okay, well, the, you know, academics is not the only thing. Let's try, yeah, I don't know, sports. And she can't they, really they hit a tennis ball. Up. They set up that you can get cellos from sports, from community service, or like random acts of heroism. Yes, yes. Just for context. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, basically, they try everything under the sun, and it doesn't really work. The last thing that he wants to try is community service. And so they go to what I can assume is a hospital, right? Yeah, I was thinking like uh, an elder care facility. Or, I, oh, I oh, thought was, so too, yes, but, that, but that kid was kid, there. Yeah, was so kid. You're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like long-term care of sorts. Yeah, rehabilitation center maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But so they go there and he's, they're going to volunteer there. And they're like, okay, well, you're going to clean this stuff up or you're going to clean up this room and whatever, whatever. Go. And so she like face. <laughs> little montage they of take her to the library. She's of Anya. Books. Like it's so being. Yeah. She was just being up. What, what do you, what would you call that? Just a, a butthead a grim, kid, a gremlin. She'd be a little gremlin. Be a little gremlin. And then yeah. eventually they're like, we don't want your help anymore. Leave. Dude. Okay. Why was this old lady fucking juiced at her? For being like know. bad at things, she was so mad. I was like, "Okay, lady, you need you was, you need like, you need to get dig down or, or licked or something," because like you are too angry for this right not now. Licked, not licked. <laughs> Dude, she needs to have some sort of fucking release. For <laughs> she isn't getting any. Bro, she did that thing that that was the, that is an anime trope, I believe, where she like gets all shaky and like red hot. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, Besty, take his annex. Chill the fuck yeah. out. Smoke a bowl, bro. Like, dude, she is go literally bowling? yelling. No, smoke a bowl. <laughs> what? I like said, go, go bowling. And I was like, that's your idea for stress relief, Louis? <laughs> no, no. Like, your I mean, first it, suggestion is go bowling? No, smoke a bowl. Smoke some weed, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah, but bowling too. I mean, that's your thing, man. I'm not gonna knock. Oh, it. bowling! Great stress relief. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she's just so juiced at Anya being like bad at helping them, and she's like, "Get out of here!" Blah blah blah. <laughs> and so, like before all this happens, we kind of get like a little breadcrumb trail of foreshadowing of of this kid who was hurt or whatever, and mm-hmm. basically, it's just kind of like, well, I um. Uh, what do you call it? Like, oh yeah, I I'm gonna go for a swim so that I can like re- rehab my legs or you know whatever. Yeah, and yeah. she and his mom is like, go get changed. I'll meet is that you his out mom? There. I thought that was mom like his or doctor, nurse or something, so. right? Yeah, nurse or mother. It was very unclear. It was very unclear. As a matter, but she's like, oh no, oh, no, no, no. Change. That was well, that wasn't his mom because at the end there was a different lady, wasn't it? Honestly, couldn't tell you. But I trust your judgment. <laughs> it might have been. Who fucking? Knows? But anyways, he goes. He goes out to the pool, and he just like he's also he's like physically disabled, or at least temporarily disabled. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. he has like a crutch. It falls. He falls into the pool, and he just he just straight up he starts drowning pretty immediately. Didn't even try. He just gave. I up. know. I know. There was no like <laughs> effort. Also, he could be paralyzed. Might I add? So yeah, yeah. it. I'm not 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 want to say he didn't try. I, maybe he's just he's just a dumb kid, you know. But anyways, then Anya is like literally hears his inner thoughts from the hallway and is like, "Shit, somebody's drowning." And she's like, "Ah, uh, Dad, I I want to go swimming." And then she like sprints <laughs> in there, dives right into the pool, and bitch, this bestie starts drowning too. I love the <laughs> initiative to save someone, but like. If you poor execution, swim, poor like, execution I, exactly. on you. I was like, bestie, you're just you're asking for it here. And then, you know, Lloyd jumps in, grabs them both. And then dun, 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 she's committed an act of heroism and she gets a Stella. She does get a Stella. Yeah. Yeah. And she's really feeling herself like she's like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm the baddest bitch. Like, call me Starlight. Anya or whatever the hell. Like. Yeah, yeah. And then like <laughs> Becky is talking and she's like, oh, my God, you should ask her like a reward. Oh, I have questions about this, by the way. Like, so okay. she's like, oh, you should get a reward. And she's like, I want a dog. And yours like dogs are super violent, dude. And then like they're looking at dogs in the pound and then it doesn't really go anywhere. I, I, I what I gathered was that. They were having inner monologues about a dog. Like, obviously, Lloyd was like, oh, we can have a, do- a guard dog. And then Yor was like, oh, they could kill her. And then, you know, Anya just wants to have fun. But what it kind of, yeah. I mean, they were, they, it was just like people feeding dogs at, at a pound. It wasn't Yor or Lloyd, right? Yeah. I, I, so, yeah, I, my, 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 my assumption is that it's just a foreshadow again. Me too. And I think it's that exact dog. 
they had a shot that pans from the ground to the ears of the dog. I think that'll mm-hmm. be the dog they take home. That that I mean, hey, that would make the most sense. And we'll complete this Y family. We'll complete this Y family. It, it's kind of like a cowboy bebop. <laughs> yeah. Every good anime mm-hmm, has from mm-hmm. a dog, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, no, that was one of the best jokes. I skipped over it. It was like when she's like, "Oh, Damian, do you have a dog?" And he's like, mm-hmm. "No. Why would you care?" And she's like, oh, if he has a dog, then I'll get a dog and then we can be friends and then we can have a play date and then it'll world be peace. world peace. And like she's voicing all the characters in this little simulation in her head. It is so funny. And for it's some reason, like Master Henderson the is there too. Master <laughs> Henderson is there too for some reason. And I'm like, that, Louis. why is he there? <laughs> you know, it's very elegant. He had to be there. For Couldn't sure. Miss it. Absolutely. Um, so anyways... <laughs> Wow, the last I this episode. episode was silly. Yeah, it was silly. The last episode, it, it was better, but again, I do think this one's gonna go pretty quickly. This is I, these last two episodes could be skippable episodes, in my opinion. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Penguin Park, uh, seven point nine out of ten. A trip to the local aquarium results in mayhem for the entire Forger family, uh, as Lloyd is assigned a mission that is fortuitously located. Fortuitously, yeah, that's how you say that. Located in the same right. place. What do you think about this one? I thought this one was confusing. Yeah. Like the, well, not the actual episode. I'm confused, right? So the whole setup of this episode, first of all, did they give you a weird intro to this episode where they explained who each character was again? Yeah. I think that was to fill time. It feels, it felt like. Because I was like, why are they telling me this? Now I'm like 12 episodes into the show. Of course I know who these people are. Like that's a so that that's a harder. that's a thing that anime does when they want to fill time. One, one Piece is uh, uh bad at that. Yeah, they're Heard. they're yeah they just there are some episodes on that are like on in One Piece that have six minutes of just recap sometimes. Holy shit! Okay, so then that's an anime thing I just didn't know about. But well, like, the yes and no. Structure yeah. of this episode like confused me, right? Because they Mm -hmm. set up the episode and it's like Lloyd is being given extra missions. And I'm like, why? Allegedly, he's their best agent, right? So I get that. But if this one mission, Operation Strix, is the world saving mission, like world peace, all of the world hinges on this mission going well, then why the fuck are they sending him to do other things and distracting him from world peace? I don't get that. So... This didn't make sense to me. I guess they just needed a filler episode, man. Yeah, I guess. But anyways, uh, we introduced another like wise contact lady um, who sells sodas or drinks or whatever. Yeah, I did find that funny. They uh, (laughs) like you just said, they've been putting him on missions and stuff. Lloyd gets home all tired. He overhears gossip of his neighbors being like, oh, yeah, he's a bad dad. He's never home. He's probably off cheating. And he's like, shit, I got to be a better dad for the Dude, for the facade. It, for the facade. Not- looks like a junkie. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so he like super speeds up, bursts through the doors like, we're going out this weekend. You better be fucking happy about it. <laughs> Which was great. No, it was good. And, and, and so they decide they're going to go to the aquarium because Anya was like playing with a penguin or something with penguins. I don't even remember. Oh, and so they go to Penguin Park. A penguin with a gun. Oh, that's what it was. Yes, she drew a penguin with a gun. Yes, yes, you're right. Which was so. Funny. So then they decide they decide they're gonna go to the aquarium, uh, Penguin Park to be specific. And so then they're waiting for the train or whatever. And when get he Lloyd's like, oh, I'm gonna go get some drinks because he sees the sign that says, hey, there's a mission waiting for you. Um, he goes and talks to the lady. He's like, I am not going on a mission. Strix takes. Precedence here, we can't whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. And she's like, Well, luckily enough, it's also at the aquarium, bitch. <laughs> and he's like, Oh fuck. Like I can't say no to you like, know. Right. Of course it is. Yeah. And so he does get drinks and Anya, they get to the penguin park and Anya is just head over heels. She's having so much fun. Like she's so excited about the fish and the penguins and all that sorts of thing. Um and, and and we said this earlier, but just by a nice stroke of luck, one of the gossiping neighbors ends up being at the uh, at the aquarium. And um, <laughs> yours is like, which is weird, oh. though, because they told her they were going to the aquarium. So she yeah. must have known 
And she must have made the decision afterwards because otherwise, when they told her, wouldn't she have said, oh, that's funny. I'm planning on going. So she clearly mm-hmm. made plans to go after she. I don't know. It's just sussy. Unless it was trust. unless because I don't quite remember because I feel like I kind of missed that. But like, where was she there when they were leaving? Because they did leave and run into some. Right. Like you said, I think I think there she's who they ran into. Oh, OK. But I could be wrong. I mean, hey, if anyone wants to correct us, go ahead. If not, hey, you know what? Just vibe with us, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so yours is like, oh, yeah, you want to come join us? And then Lloyd has this whole panic moment where he's like, really, dude? Like, are you Why? fucking kidding me? Like, yeah. I wouldn't have done that if I were your. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, oh, OK, and now I'm going to hang out with my family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyways, uh, so they decide that they need to they're going to go look at the penguins. And he's trying to figure out, like, OK, when is this message for these chemical weapons going to be like, you know, whatever. And so he figures out that they're going to be with the penguins. and He's like, all right, what penguin stands out? And he's looking vigorously. Anya pops off here. Because Anya reads his mind and mm-hmm. she's like, oh, OK. So like at like four or five years old, she's not only reading his mind. But then thinking, okay, let me process what he's saying. I'm looking for a penguin that has something wrong. Great. I'm going to see it. Now let me, ha- let me nonchalantly point it out to him so he thinks that it's his idea. Holy shit. She's so smart. She is. So she like suggests, she's like, oh, that one is like coughing. And then he's like, huh, interesting. He can't I think it's. I think it's super interesting that this adds another layer to her telepathy. Because now yeah. she can read the minds of animals, animals. which I didn't know yeah. that was possible. Anyways, sorry. Continue. Yeah. Oh, no, I just I agreed. So anyways, now, he, you know, he goes, he gets in his, you know, little uniform, his disguise. I'm so impressed by his disguises. Like, they're mm-hmm, very cool. Mm-hmm. They are. He gets in his little disguise. It's his day one of the training. Like, and then he goes into the like penguin enclosure, which first of all, first day, you're going to be doing paperwork, but whatever. Okay. I I digress. <laughs> so he goes into the enclosure and the trainer's like, okay, great. Did you, you know, I'm going to take you through like your first day. Did you take a look at the, like the names of the animals like yet? Just like, so you can start to get familiar. He's like, you haven't memorized. There's like 200 penguins, right? And he's like, oh, well, I glanced at it. And the guy's like, you glanced at it. It took me two years to memorize the names of all these penguins and you glanced at it. So like, anyways, then of course, Lloyd like perfectly identifies the penguin behind him. He's like, the trainer's like, what? How did you do that? And like, Lloyd is like, they're all different. They all have different patterns, and shapes and sizes. And like, I think the trainer, like the, the dynamic between the trainer and Lloyd is like so funny. And there's like, it comes back later in the episode. But I, just, I think it's so funny. No, no, it's great. Anyways, he goes and he takes the penguin. He sees the sick one and he takes it out, walks it out of the enclosure so he can take it to like the sick room. And then like he goes to like treat the penguin and try to get the information. He sees the little like chip in his throat. And then this like mysterious guy walks in from behind and he's like oh hey what you doing he's like i'm gonna go take it the other way anyways we come to find that this guy is also in disguise and (laughs) so he he holds the penguin he's like oh i can't chase the guy and get the chip out of the penguin so the guy runs off and who does he run into but anya who's overheard all of this and grabs onto his coattails while he's running through the hallway and your sees this and she says i'm being kidnapped your comes in runs in grabs anya kicks this guy into the fucking ceiling like we don't know he, if he's did he alive die <laughs> i feel like it he is died so badass this was so hot it like it was a it was a s tier it was s tier S tier, an S tier moment, yeah. S tier. Anyways, yeah. So, you know, it's all solved. He got the chip from the penguin. The bad guy was vanished. They all worked together, even though they didn't know it. Lloyd covers it up by getting Anya a penguin and and saying that he'd been spending all the time to win her this penguin. And and the neighbors are like, oh my God, you're so dedicated and you're hot. <laughs> and that's essentially what goes on at the aquarium, except for my favorite part. 
which is at the end where Lloyd is still in the tra- the training costume. And he's like, you know the name of every animal. You know what to do, how to take care of the animal. Guess you should be in charge now. I have nothing left to teach you. And it's not even the guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, and, uh, and, and the guy's like, what? <laughs> It like, was what so the funny. What fuck is going on here? <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's it then, huh? For for this one. Well, no, because they go back after. Oh this one. yeah, and, and there's Anya's the whole. Like, yeah, Anya's like playing spy with her stuffed animal. It's very cute. The new penguin one, and and she's just trying to play spy, and she and her penguin want to go spy in mom and dad's room because she thinks there's weapons in there. And then Lloyd is like, "You can't go in there." There's dangerous stuff in there. And then in his head, he's like, well, there's much more dangerous stuff in there, actually. And blah, 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 or whatever. So then she starts to sob. And then Lloyd and Yor both take the stuffed animals and they try to, like, play spy to cheer her up. And then they run off and play together. It's, it's really cute, actually. I know. he She, like, tricks them into going to the candy store <laughs> to get her peanuts. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Super cute. But yeah, I mean, I thought these last two episodes were good. I just thought they were kind of fillery. Yeah, I, I, I definitely enjoy every single other episode. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed all of them. Like there were none yeah, that I thought yeah. were like dog shit or anything. But yeah, agreed. Uh, well, we are starting to run out of time. Oh, please come back next uh, week. Not next week, but the week after. Uh, for episodes uh, 13 through 16. 16. Yeah. 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 I'm very, very excited no, about this. Yeah, it yeah, seems yeah, like we're no. going to get new. Um, we're going to get a new part of the family. It seems like at some point soon. I hope so. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to get through 16. And then, uh, yeah, we're getting super close to the end here. 16 through 20 and then 20 through 25. We can even. Wow. Crazy. Split those up to do yeah. three and then two so that we can talk about it more for the last yeah. episode. But any who'sies. We'll be ready for the new yeah. season though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna it's just start coming out soon. But Katie, where can people find you? At real slim K-A-T-I-E 25 on Reddit, Letterboxd, TikTok, and Instagram. What about you? L O U D O double G. Where can L-O-U-D-O-G. we find you, bro? L-O-U-D-O-G. You said that right. Yeah, I, I, I was like, did you say? Did you just say Y to me? Um, <laughs> people can find me. Louis um, spelled L O U Y. Louis. <laughs> Louis. Um, no, if you want to find me, you can find me on um, TikTok. You can find me on Instagram, on uh, Twitter, on Facebook. All at the Angry Belly. Um, if you, if I'm anywhere, that's that's the the username that I'm gonna have. Oh. Obviously, you can find me on YouTube. I stream about three to four times a week. Lately, it's been four times a week because I'm trying to grind out to a thousand yeah. subs and, and, and four thousand watch hours. So we're we're getting there. We're getting real close. Hey, where can other people watch the podcast? Like, oh, it's so what wonderful. Are other venues? Uh, venues, podcatchers. Uh, yeah. You can watch it. Listen to it on Apple Podcasts. You can listen to it on um, the Podbean app. You can listen to it on uh, Spotify, for example. There's a lot. There's Stitcher, Stitcher. I don't think we're on Stitcher. As a matter of fact, we're not on Stitcher. Oh, never mind. Um, I take back. Hold on. Yeah, no. Take you got to take that back right now. And you know what? We might be. We we are not on Stitcher. No. <laughs> Actually, yeah, well, I'll just read it. I'll just read them out to you right now. We are we are on Apple Podcast, Podbean app, Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Samsung Podcast app. Pod Chaser and Boom Play. Those are the and podcasts YouTube. we are currently on. And YouTube, of course. You can watch it right here on The Angry Belly. How do you listen? I listen on Apple Pod. I do too. I also listen to them once uh, Keely, our good friend Achilles sends them over on my phone. Um, just oh, he's through, so like, good. Through like uh, Dropbox. So <laughs> I kind of just <laughs> listen to them there and never again. So. Um, you don't listen anyway. to your own voice on repeat. Well, I listened to it the one time, and then after that, I'm like, all right, you did great, per usual. So I'm just not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Heard. But yeah, as always, remember to have fun, be safe, and keep those bellies full. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.